Hi, my name's Helen and this is my channel, Helen Mary Jo. If you're new here, then welcome. If you're returning, thank you. And if you're a Hell's Bell, hello. <laughs> my um, brother-in-law was in the Isle of Wight at the weekend and um, he's um, a graphic designer, very, very highly skilled at what he does. And it made me laugh because he never really says anything about the channel or anything like that. Um, although he did design the um, kind of logo that I use um, in places. And um, he'd written, hello, in the sand. I'll put a little picture up, actually. It's really cute. <laughs> so thank you, Shane. Um, so today I have got a massive m and haul, uh, spring, spring clothes, kind of transitional pieces going into the spring. Um, which, thank goodness, after yesterday, today's Monday, I'm hoping to get this video up later today. And yesterday was such a beautiful day, wasn't it? Oh, my goodness. I mean, I didn't really kind of benefit from being outdoors, but it did um, inspire me, if you could be inspired, to do homework. <laughs> homework. Housework. Um, yeah, so I, I sort of cleared out some drawers and bits and bobs like that. You know how stuff just accumulates. God, it's so boring, isn't it? So um, that, was, that was kind of my weekend, really. Didn't do anything exciting. But, um, oh, I did book another holiday. So that's um, with uh, my daughter and uh, the family. So um, what did I want to tell you about? So... Um, yeah, the jewellery collection is coming along nicely and I'm hoping to be able to show you that within a, about a week's time. And I've got a really hilarious thing that I've done with um, a company that asked me if I'd like to do this thing. I won't even I won't even hint what it is, but it's flipping hilarious. Oh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, please. Just the button. Um, just click on that. Cost you nothing. You can always unsubscribe if it gets on your nerves. But really, all you all, all that happens is you get told that um, I've done a video, so you know it's not a big deal. Oh, I did want to show you this. I picked this up in um, Lidl at the weekend. It's just this little tiny hair dryer, but it's two thousand watts. It's watts, isn't it? Um. I mean, it's Rita Ora. I couldn't care less if it's Rita Ora or not, to be quite honest. I mean, there's an autograph card included. Ooh, probably paid an extra pound for that. But it's really, it's not like light, lightweight, but it's much lighter than my normal hairdryer. And I used it this morning. It works really well. It's got two heat settings and a cool air setting. And I think it was either 14 99 or 15 99 I can highly recommend it. And Lidl are actually really, really good at refunds if something goes wrong. I think it's got a three-year guarantee. So I bought that to take on the holiday. But I think I'll probably use it. I've got a professional hair dryer. And uh, cause I, obviously, you can see I've got quite a lot of hair. And um, that worked really, really well. Um, another quick thing I wanted to say was when I, I was a bit frustrated with Vinted the other week when I told you about the scarf being sold as silk and it was polyester. And a couple of people said, I've never had a problem uh, with vintage and, you know, don't tar us all with the same brush. And they're absolutely right to say that. I was annoyed. And so I said about it. But obviously, I've had good experiences in the past as well. But it's just a shame that things kind of get contaminated by people with less than honest intentions. But I'm sure they're still more good than bad. So I just wanted to kind of balance that up. And um, like I say, I've got this massive haul from m and which I will probably split into two, partly because I don't have time to do it all in one. Um, and oh, there's been a saga. There's always a saga. Hang on, grab a cup. Black tea stains the mug so badly. It'll come off in the dishwasher. I digress, as usual. Um, so I ordered all this, all this stuff from m and and um, thankfully, you know, ladies had told me about the £20 delivery thing. So I used that. So I didn't have to kind of pay extra. Anyway, what I'm getting at is that it was coming in three parcels. And the bulk of it came in one parcel and they used every for that. And then the other um, 
two parts, or one, I'm not sure, it all got very confusing, but another parcel was DPD. Now, I'm a DPD customer. I've got a DPD app on my phone. They never told me it was DPD. He was at the door. Um, I saw him on the ring doorbell. He couldn't hear me saying, like, can you leave it? Can you leave it? And they took it away. And I thought, well, that's all right, because I got an email saying it's come back the next day. And But when I went into the tracking, they said, we've taken it to your nearest collection point, which is an hour's drive away. That's not my nearest collection point. But, of course, we live near the sea, so it looks like it is. So, you know, oftentimes when I'm looking for Argos or somebody, it'll tell me, tell me about one on cows, which, yeah, is, is only four or five miles away, but it's a ferry ride away. Anyway, to cut a long story short, a bit shorter, I went on to um, live chat. They were most unhelpful, just said, well, you have to go and get it if you want it. And I was like, I'm not driving nearly an hour to pick up a parcel. I, I'll be driving past two super stalls. To, to get it so that was very annoying so I thought I'd call up they're usually much more helpful and I think they've outsourced their call center and she just said okay if you don't want to pick it up you wait seven days they'll take it back and within another seven days you should get the refund well I don't think that's good enough asked to speak to a supervisor not available I said oh that's convenient isn't it I was in a really bad mood I had hardly any time that day and I was using it to try and deal with this. So I did what I do. And that is, um, I emailed the CEO of Marks and Spencer. And uh, as, you know, it without fail, it works. I don't, you know, I don't do that every five seconds because, you know, that's pointless. But it's the only way to actually circumvent the nonsense that gets spouted to you by customer service because they've just got a script and that's all they can do. So sure enough, the exec's office got on to me. Um, they sent the items out again, so I don't have to worry about the ones that have gone, sent them out free of charge. I mean, I still had to pay for them because I paid for them in the first place and I got um, a gift voucher as compensation. So it, I'd rather have just got the things, you know, I don't want to write to the CEO. I don't want to waste my time doing all of this stuff. And and I t told them it was a really negative experience. But they don't listen. They don't care. But anyway, that's my little rant for the day. So frustrating, this stuff. Um, so what I will do now, you'll be glad to hear, is crack on with the haul and um, hope there's a few pieces there that you like. It's nice to start looking at some kind of lighter things, isn't it? I mean, I know I've been doing all summer holiday stuff. Um, oh my goodness, I've got a pile of boxes of shoes over there that's actually formed like a new coffee table. <laughs> oh God. I said to my daughter, can you help me choose from these shoes? So I showed her a pair. Oh, they're lovely, mum. Oh yeah, they're lovely. What about this pair? Oh, well, they're really lovely. So I said, so you haven't helped me get rid of any? Well, no, they're really all lovely. What am I going to do? What's a girl to do? Anyway, I'll stop there and um, have a look and see what I try on first for you. A denim dress. You know, I love a denim dress. I just think they, you know, you can wear them with the vest top underneath, the cardigan over the top, a slip over, lots of different ways of wearing them. It's 100% cotton, £39.50. I'll put the links in the description box, which will be down below, just next to the subscribe button if you haven't done that. And, um, yeah, it's it's really comfortable. Got a nice half sleeve or short sleeve, I guess, with oh it's yeah, it's got a little button. I didn't see that. Button through, didn't have to undo it to get it on, little self-tie belt, and it's tiered. I know some ladies don't like tiers. I don't have a problem with them myself. Um yeah, it's just just an easy wear, nice dress. I did pick up a get couple of belts off um Sheen. I'm going to go and grab one of those because I think it would make it look quite different. So um, I'll just stop the camera and grab that. I've grabbed the belts from upstairs. And um, the reason I actually were looking for these belts, was looking for these belts, was um, do you remember that kind of candy stripe dress that a few people commented that the, the stripes didn't match up? And they were right. And I actually ordered three and none of them matched up, even though on the photograph they did. So. Um, I was looking around for a wide belt and got this one from Sheen, Sheen, whatever you, how you ever say it. 
and it was, I think it was about £3.50. It's elastic, so it's as comfortable as anything. And I also got this one, which is also elastic and really comfortable. Um, I was looking around, but, you know, in marks, they were like £16. It's just a little bit of a fun accessory. So it does change the look of it quite a lot, I think. I've got these boots. Oh, can you see those? They're like suede ankle cowboy boots. I love them. Um, got those in the next sale, reduced from £60 to £24. Bargain. God, I love a bargain. Did you notice? <laughs> um, yeah, so that's that belt. Let me just pop the other one on. This one probably goes better. I, I just went for ease because that one does up so quickly. Because that's kind of, you know, my narrowest bit is, is just there. So this one doesn't have, like, eyelets. You just poke it through the, the weave. Got caught up. Um, yeah, I think that looks really nice too, actually. Really comfortable because it's elastic. It's not, like, digging in. So it might look a bit odd when I sit down and everything. Anyway. Whatever, I'll just stand up all the time. So you just can just sit it on that seam. Anyway, that's dress number one. Hope you like it. When I went back into the bedroom to change, I, I saw this cardigan. I thought, oh, I'll try that on. Isn't it a lovely colour? There's a lot of this colour around this season. Very, very spring sort of daffodil. Stem colour, obviously not the colour of daffodils. It's got a nice ribbed effect here. It was £35 and I bought it in um, the extra large. It's plenty of room. I know it's a cotton mix. Um, cotton and polyamide, which is probably better than being pure cotton, to be honest, because it will hold its shape. Probably could have got the large, but um, got the extra large. I think it gives the dress another look and, you know, really works with that transition from winter to spring, summer. Let's face it, after time in our summer, you need, need a cardi like this. Not so keen on the puff sleeve, but they're really a thing at the moment, aren't they? Like I say, I probably could have got the large, but it's not too big. I'm not sure if I'll keep it because they keep sending me offers. After I've just bought something, then they'll send me a 20 percent off thing so it's a risk of course but um you know I'm not that bothered so yeah so that's um the cardigan over the denim dress just thought I'd quickly pop that on for you it's interesting isn't it I did not when I saw this on the hanger I thought well that'll be going straight back but I actually really like it it's so annoying it's 100% viscose 39.50 this is the 18 regular but oh, it's such a oh it's such a useful dress. And I've just had a 20% off, so I don't suppose I'll get another one for dresses. Why I like it is because it's quite slim here. You know, it's um, it's kind of only kind of five inches wider than my hips. So it's not kind of voluminous. And it's quite a kind of crinkly fabric. So. I'll pop a belt on with this as well because it does, does kind of really give it a different look as soon as you shove a belt on. I think that looks pretty good, to be fair. That's my opinion anyway. Oh, you never guess what happened the other day. You know my lovely bracelet that a lot of you asked about and there's something coming in the collection um my little heart the actual heart broke but oh my god oh, i was so lucky i was in ikea we were sitting having a bit of lunch you meatballs and uh, my grandson said mommy what's that, what's that on the floor it looks like a heart and it was the other side of the table. I do not know what had happened. And um, Billy had found it. So 
few. I was so, so glad because I, I really, I know it sounds stuff, but I really love that little heart. And it's actually in carat gold, so it's actually quite expensive too. And also while I was in Ikea, I met um, a lady that watches me, Pauline. Hello, Pauline. So, so nice to see you. How random, Ikea. Anyway, I don't know, with or without the belt. I think either is fine, but the belt certainly kind of brightens it up, doesn't it? Or the other belt. I'm really chuffed with these belts, actually. I got these and a beach bag because I'm kind of a bit ahead of the game, you know, for the shops for beach bags. So, I mean, I try not to kind of, that's a bit awkward getting the prong through, but um gives you the idea. Yeah, I think I probably prefer this one actually. Looks a bit more more expensive, I think. Just show you the full length. Oh, make myself dizzy. Anyway, that's uh this dress. What else is it? Okay, um, that's number just number two, isn't it? Crikey, I need to get a wiggle on. Uh, this is a bit of a strange combo because I've still got my black tights on. Um, but I also bought this um, denim jacket, which is £59. Seems to be a bit loose. I don't know. What, like, I don't know. I, I think I'm a fairly standard 18 at the moment. And um, it's just a bit... I don't know. It's all right. Um, it's pure cotton. Might be really handy. And I've got this orange dress, dress on. This was, um, I think this is 39.50. This is viscose. And this is an 18 regular. So I'll show you with the jacket. Like I say, I don't think it really works together. But um, it's a nice enough dress. I mean, obviously, I wouldn't be wearing black tights or boots with this this is a very summery dress nice nice lining on this one um yeah that's 59 i know i said that 18 size 18 now this dress exactly the same design i think as the black dress but these are a little bit tighter like, what's that about but similarly and i know before you tell me you can see my tights i know you can see the black but again you know, for ladies who don't want really tiered, tiered dresses, I think I think this is quite easy to wear, this kind of slimmer tier, if that makes sense. So I'll take the belt with me. It's a nice, nice bright summer day dress or springtime dress. Pop the belt on. It's quite good because it's got these little ivory... Mm, not sure about that actually. Don't know if it sort of cuts me in. I don't know. I'll let you be the judge. You know, nice pair of wedge wedge sandals. Not black tights. Not cowboy boots. But it's it's a really nice fine. This goes. Um, but it's bothering me a little bit on the sleeves. Just it's just that tiny bit smaller than the last black one, but again, you know, not not like look, this one's much tighter. This has only got like two inches. It's fine for sitting down and stuff, but um, although with that being tighter, it will it will crease more. Anyway, I'm just showing you. Now I like this, although. The waffle and the, you know. Anyway, it's a lovely colour. It's cotton rich funnel neck jumper, and this is in a large turquoise, thirty five pounds. Really nice colour, isn't it? So cheerful. Um, it's cotton rich, so I would imagine it's the same as the other one. Cotton and polyamide, yeah. I don't have a problem with that. Um, and then I've got these uh, cotton chinos on. And um, these are £25. And they are in the 20 short. 
they don't work for me at all. I will show you, obviously, but um, the rise is too short for me and they've got no stretch in them at all. And to be honest, you know, they're a snug fit. So I couldn't wear them without this length top. You know, if that's what you're looking for, it's fine, but you know, they didn't work for me at all, so I won't definitely won't be keeping these. And they're not comfortable either. They're shoving my knickers up my bum as it is. Um as we used to say at play school to the children, it got a hungry bottom. Um yeah, so I love the jumper. Not sure about the neck. Don't know. I'll look on the video if it feels like it's biting too much. It's a shame. So, you know, the colour's gorgeous. So um yeah, I told you how much the jumper was, didn't I? Yeah, and the trousers were 25. So I think they just had a little bit of elastane in them that make all the difference. But they don't. As I say, they, they, yeah, they're comfortable. Like, they're not big around. They're not tight around my waist. And I get that thing where I've got that curve in my back, you know, when the waistband just sort of sticks out from there. And when they haven't got any stretching, that's um, exacerbated. Anyway, that's the next two items. So we're nearly there. i am just popped on this linen blouse, which is a lovely kind of chambray blue. And this is £35. It's quite a lot, really. It's, it's, it's reasonable thickness, but I'm not sure it's... I'm not sure I couldn't find something very similar for a lot less. Um, I've got it on with the jeans that I went to all that trouble to get, and they just don't work for me. They... I just don't fit me properly. They're not flattering. Um, you know, yeah, they they just don't work and they're too expensive to um, just compromise with. I've also got these shoes, which, you know, wouldn't necessarily go with this outfit, but I just thought I'd show you. They're all leather, not all leather, the leather upper. They're £45. And they are comfortable if you've got the problem like I have with the um, longer toes. I can't wear a really pointed toe. Nice covered heel and um, very smart. I have got another pair of shoes. I'll pop those on. Um, they really remind me. They're kind of like Jackie Onassis look. Do you know what I mean? It's quite, quite 60s. My mum had a, they weren't like these really, but they were kind of neutrally. And... Um, I remember stuffing the toe and walking up and down the road because I love the click, click, clop, click, clop, going up and down the road, not like a horse. <laughs> click, clack, click, clack. And, um, yeah, I, I just remember those shoes so, so well, and that's probably like nearly 60 years ago that I was click, clacking up the road. So I'll pop those on so you can see them and click, clack over there. Uh, it's a shame with these jeans, but I think with jeans, actually, there's somebody approached me. I must get back to them. Approached me about jeans, and apparently Mark Hayes has recommended them. So I'll see if I can find that message and see if um, we can go on a jean hunt together. I mean, obviously, you can see how this creases, but that's linen. So you can see these jeans just do nothing for me at all. They're kind of, yeah, they just do nothing for me. I mean, probably not helped, you know, Helen, get realistic. I've got really short legs and then I take that much off on a turn up and they, you know, I don't really need the illusion of shorter legs. And because they're so wide, I think they just look awful, to be honest. So that's, um, I've got one more pair of trousers, I think, to show you and a different pair of shoes. So I'll pop those on and I think we're done then. Thank goodness. <laughs> I've kept the green, uh, I've kept the blue shirt on. I've changed the trousers and I've got some other shoes. Now these trousers were described as slim fit joggers. They're hardly stretchy. I think that's really weird. They're a lovely colour, do nothing for me. And um, I'll show you. And then I've got these blue loafers on that don't work either. So not 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 very good. You see these? They've got like these patch pockets. 
I mean, they're fine, but you know, they're not they're not fabulous. They were thirty two fifty. I'd rather have magic trousers. You know, the magic trousers I buy on Amazon. They are so comfortable and cheap as chips, about under twenty pounds. So that's the green trousers. So that's the last of it. Here's the, the shoe close up. And this is a wide fit and it's too wide for me. It's gaping around here. But if you're looking for a nice pair of um, suede, these are leather suede um, loafers. They do the job, especially if you can get 20% off, which I think I've got off shoes. I think I said that already. So that's everything. So three pairs of shoes that were no good. I like the blue jumper. That's that's the nearest thing to, to keep in. But I'll I'll look and see if I have too many arguments with my turkey neck. And um that's about it, I think. So I've got another Matalan haul to do and oh so much. So I'll leave it there and I'll say there was something. If I remember, I'll put it in the description box. So thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you really soon. Bye.